I am a woman, she, her. Well, this channel started because I wanted to make a music video and my friend helped me with that. And then I just kind of kept going. I was like, well, this is fun. I'm gonna just keep doing it. And that's been my thought process ever since. It's fun, so might as well keep doing it. Mudwings. Mudwings are number one. Mudwings win everything. Mudwings are amazing. And I'm not just saying this because they're underrated, I swear. I don't know, I like their design. Like living in the sibling groups was really an interesting idea to me and I think that it's totally something Toy should like explore in future books if she chooses to do them. Skywings and Sea Wings would tie for second place just because, I don't know, I like both of them as well but I can't put one above the other because I like them both equally. Everyone else except for one tribe is kind of on the same level. And Rain Wings, they're last but just barely. It's mainly just because of their personalities. Like I love their designs and abilities but in the books they're just portrayed to be really dumb and really lazy then again we were seeing it through glory's eyes so that could have just been glory being a bitch in her pov and maybe they're actually not that dumb but i don't know overall rain wings are last but i also don't think they're that terrible just because they're my least favorite does not mean i hate them Favorite Wings of Fire character was definitely Peril. I just really, I think her abilities are cool. I think she has an interesting design. I just like her. She's nice. Um, why is Wings of Fire? Why is Wings of Fire? I don't know, man. I'm a psych major. You need a philosophy major for this. Um, no, I will never read Arc 3. It just won't happen. It's not anything against Arc 3, it's purely because I don't have the time, nor do I have, like, I don't have the desire to read Arc 3, so I just won't. Favorite Wings of Fire book? Definitely book 8. I just enjoyed the plot, and Peril is amazing, so, you know. I have read 11 Wings of Fire books, and the video on Glory probably will not happen anymore. I'm just really busy with college, so I'm sorry about that. That probably won't happen. To make up for it, I'll sum up my my thoughts here. In my personal opinion, which you can agree or disagree with, I think Glory is a bit of a Mary Sue. I felt like in the book she was really rude to her own tribe. Like the other Rainwings, she was just kind of a bitch to them and then was like, I need to shape you people up when they were mostly fine, but they also weren't. So I don't know. I have mixed feelings about her and book three, but in general, I just don't have a positive opinion of her. If I were to reread the books, maybe I'd change my mind about her, but as of right now, I don't know, man. I just don't like Glory. Uh, probably Dune, just because I feel bad for him. He didn't get that much screen time. Like, Scarlet pretty much just snapped his neck before he got even three words out, so probably Dune. If I could kill one, Kinkachu. It's Kinkachu. Kinkachu needs to go. Bye-bye, Kinkachu. Skywings are American. I think it would be hysterical if some of them had New York or Boston accents, just because I could totally see two Skywings arguing over a parking spot. Nightwings are British because of that one video that one guy made that one time. Icewings, I don't know if they'd be British or Russian, but they're one of those two. Sea Wings are Canadian because they're too nice. Rain Wings are Australian because Toy said so. Mud Wings are rednecks because they live in the swamps. And Sand Wings would have like that Western accent from those old movies because they're all cowboys living in the desert. Yes, I have a lot of old OCs, especially the ones from 2020. Those I consider old. Not possible. Next question. Favorite bread? Irish soda bread for sure. It is amazing. If you've never had it, please go try some during St. Patty's Day. It's amazing. Would recommend. If I had a nickel for every time someone asked me this, I could pay off my tuition. Um, yes, you can have some bread. Bread should be a part of your daily diet, man. That's a great question. And to be completely honest, I don't know the answer to either of these questions. <laughs> There's a wiki page for bread wings that says one thing, but then I've heard another thing from other people, and I don't know who the main creator was or who the OG creator was. Whoever they are, they exist. They're really cool, and they're part of the reason why I'm Toasted Toast, so good for them. And I don't rule the bread wings. I'm just kind of here, man. I don't know. I, I just exist. So, yeah. So I don't draw anything. I, I do not draw. I'm not an artiste. I edit. If you didn't notice, like most of the art that you see in videos is made by someone else and they are always credited in either the description or in the video itself. And if you're talking about this little guy right here, this guy, that bread wing was drawn by Cheese Draws, who is amazing. And you should totally go check her channel out. And inspiration, 
I get it randomly, but it's usually coming from music. Like, this isn't an OC, but Running With The Wolves, I got that idea just from listening to the lyrics and it kind of just came up in my head. And then when it comes to characters, every so often I'll just listen to a song and I'll be like, ooh, that'd be really cool as a character. Right now, I'm going through a bit of an Olivia Rodrigo phase because Guts is amazing. And now Fawn exists and she's the eternal optimist. Woohoo! And that is all the questions I got. If you have any other questions, maybe because of this video or just in general, ask them in the comments. I'll probably respond as long as it's not too personal. I hope you all enjoyed and maybe got to know me a bit better. Glory and Kinkachu suck. And I hope you have a nice day. Bye!